All right, Angel Wolf here. Welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. I'm going to do something a little different today. Today I am in MC Edit version 1.5.6. It supports from version 1.8 to 1.12, and it actually supports a lot more than that because it supports all the way through to 1.2 when they changed to the Anvil world format and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going through and marking my spawners in my uh, beta 1.7.3 terrain in my let's play world I'm just waiting for this to load here it's taking some time but uh, I'm just going to mark all my spawners with some simple cobblestone. And then uh, later on in a future video, I'm going to conquer those spawners and make a video out of it. So I'm going to get at least a couple of videos out of it. It's going to take some time to do the 1.7.3 marking. So that might be a couple of videos and then just sporadic videos when I feel bored or when I've built stuff or don't feel like building stuff just take a break, go conquer, spawner, decorate it and design it yeah things like that so oops deselect, that is not what I meant so well, I think I have already marked some. I think I left off over here. So I am going to go into overworld view. No, camera view. That's the button I need. There we go. In camera view. Get my bearings a little bit. Not quite where I thought I would be. Wait. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, now I figured out where I am for the most part. It's just taking some time to load. I'm only in the wrong direction. Okay. Now I know fully where I am. Sorry about that. A little lost. Alright, as you can see, I have two cobblestone bits marked here. Now there are other spawners outside of the chunk border for 1.7.3, but we're not going to worry about those yet. Those are for a future day. But I've got two spawners on this corner. I am unsure uh, what these spawners specifically are, but they're really close together. They're on top of each other, practically, literally. So, that is something we're going to do in the future. But uh, we're going to start heading Sutherland and hit all the border spawners that we can. I want to see about filling in the middle bits. If I do all the borders, and then I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, make back and forth passes, then it makes things a little easier. Especially when I've already hit a spire. So, they will be outlined in yellow. That's what these yellow boxes are. They also highlight chests. It's just a simple tool in C edit. I will be. I've already marked this one too. I've been here. <laughs> but I will leave a link down in the description for you to be able to go to the GitHub and use MC Edit if you want in your own worlds for uh, versions 1.0. 2 
all the way to 1.12. I did not make MC Edit. That's a different person who made MC Edit. I had nothing to do with MC Edit. I'm just passing along the tool I like and the tool I use, and you might find it useful. So we're continuing along, looking for spawners on our chunk edge that we can mark for future use. I think I see two of them. I think I see two of them. Yes, I do. I see two of them. So, what we're going to do is, that's not what I wanted. We're going to select, go over, be directly on top of the spawner, just so we don't erase the spawner. And we're just going to click and hold the selection box and go up. Actually, we have already marked this one. I came a little further than I believe. This is just the individual selection tool. Okay, so I'm already slightly ahead of myself, and I forgot I did that. But that's okay. Now, is this one one I haven't marked? I don't think I've marked this one, so let's go do this right. Up. We drag it over. We drag it square. We drag it to be above the spawner, so we're not going to erase the spawner. We grab a hold of the top part of the selection, and we try our best to make it flush and with the ground, no more than about two high, maybe three. And we can go down, select the bottom edge, and just go up. Yeah, I could take some time to just chit chat a little bit if I feel bored or even inclined. And I'm a bit of an introvert, so it's something to fill the dead air with. So we select to fill with cobblestone. We cl we click fill. Now that created it. And now we have to save. Control S to save. And it saved to my world. There we go. And we have just marked a spawn. It's a little bit off the beaten path. Not too bad, but that's kind of close to the, where that might be an interior and not a not a quite a chunk edge because that's what we're hunting here right now is chunk edge spawners just to make things easier it's just I'm just making it easy to find them that is all I'm doing um, let's just make my life simpler my life being simpler is a good thing for later on, that way I don't have to work as hard, and it makes it easier to make a video for you all. It'll be slightly entertaining. Being an introvert, I'm not hugely talkative. I'm not great with the talkative stuff to begin with, so I might slightly ramble. If you can put up with some slight rambling, then, well, this channel's gonna do great. If you can't, well, this isn't going to do so hot. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> can't change it. I can't change what y'all like. I can't do anything. Alright, that's four high. I would prefer it be three high. A little less conspicuous. Alright, and we click fill again. 
We click OK. We click Fill. We Control S. Saves the world. We deselect. There was another one kind of nearby, so we're going to go after it. The more the merrier. i do the same thing we've been doing. Drag it up. Drag it over. Find the selection. Square it up. Be above the spotter. And we go up. We find the place it came out at. We go over to it. We see if we can hit it from here. If we can. Now we do that, but better. Alright, let's see if we can square that down a little bit. Two to three. Two to three is preferred. We click fill. We click OK. We click fill. We control S. And we go about our merry way. So it's another two spotters down. Fairly close to each other. And we continue about our merry way. Looks like we found the 1.7.3 chunk edge uh, corner marker. I marked the corners just to make it simpler and easier. And we're going to now head in a new direction, following our chunk edge, to find the spawners, to mark them, to be able to find them later in the actual Let's Play, so that I can create entertaining videos for you all. I'm sure this repeating isn't isn't super entertaining. I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm trying to get a video out of this. But it's also coming up quick enough that I don't have a bunch to talk about. So it just becomes, hey, you're seeing the entire process here. And, and if this is unpopular enough, like on Patreon, if Patreon doesn't like it, then it'll probably just be a Patreon exclusive. Because if it's that rambly, that's that's stupid, that uninteresting. I'll just leave it as an exclusive. I'll it would make great content. It's like, well, if nobody likes it, there's no point. So I'm just being a little avant-garde. That's four high, I would prefer it be three, possibly two. And we click fill. We select the cobblestone, we fill it, we control S, and we go. But if this is a good place to have conversation, I might keep it two. Well, yeah, we're just gonna expect. We're expect. Screw it. I need content. We're experimenting. Oh, those are outside the chunk edge. I can't go after them. Oh, I think I'm coming close to that winter border spawner I found. I showed you in the last video, I think it was. Now, is there one or two? Well, no, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. Alright. There might be two. We shall find out. Oh, 
Now let's make this touch ground. There, touch ground, I'm happy. Why? Because I can't like it. So squared up. Being three-ish high. We fill it. We fill some more. Control S. And it is now permanently a part of the world. And I fun. It's part of the world. I think that might be another. That looks an awful lot like it's another. Wow. I might have two. That's going to expand across the border when I build it out. I'm going to be building an old school way rather than just super compact. I want efficiency. Oh yeah, that was too. That's very nice. That is very nice. This one's literally on the border. Alright, let's see if we can just touch it a little bit. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think we'll call that good. That's because I don't want to fiddle with it. There, now that's a permanent part of the world. Probably gonna be easy, super easy to spot. That might be. Huh, that's non frozen water. That's funny. Alright, more chunk spawners to go hunting. Those red boxes are mobs. They're either hostile mobs or they're passive mobs. One of the two. But they're red boxes. I can't tell what they are, who they are, what they do. If I knew, I would. I would tell you. I would happily tell you. It's across the border, but there's not any local. So, uh, we can't go that way. We've got loading to do. Let's see how long I can get away with this. This seems kind of mind-numbing to even me. But that's why I considered making it a video. Mostly because maybe I could not be bored with you all. You could be bored with me. Alright. Now we're come to the other corner. Well, it looks like we might have at least one. I don't know if I've missed more. Seems kind of strange, but that's possible. But we will we will be doing a cross, a crisscross, to find the middle spawners too. So. If I missed any, I'll come across them for sure. Now this is a bit the top of the mountain. Oh, kind of blends in, but I did find it. Alright, let's see. Wait. I'm already getting a little mind numbed. this down something I like. Fill it in. Control S. Deselect. Alright. Alright. Progress. Any progress is good progress. Let's say we've got two or three. I think I've got three in this direction. 
And I'll find out pretty quickly. The one I just marked, I think. Not too far. No, it is not. I have four in this section. This one's bountiful a bit. Let's see, this one might be flooded. Yeah, I think that one's going to be flooded. That one's going to be fun to conquer. This one is going to be very fun to conquer. sure that's not helpful to you all. Y'all want commentary, not dead air. I don't have much to offer you. I ain't. Like I said, I'm an introvert, not much of a talker. Talking not in my vocabulary too much. Alright, there we go. That one's conquered. Well, not conquered, but marked. Uh, let's take a look at these. This one's a little on the shelf. So, ooh, it's a double chest, natural double chest. Those are kind of rare in Minecraft. I mean, they're not impossible. They were, they were rare sites, even in beta 1.7.3. These are all beta 1.7.3 spawners. It's not like spawners have changed. It's just that's where they came from. For this terrain. Right, they were added far to the game far, far earlier. Getting a bit at a bad angle. Alright, let's fill it with cobblestone. I think after I get a hold of these, I'm going to take a break. My back hurts. I've got medical issues. This is just semi relaxing potential for a career. I doubt it. It's something to do to make the government happy. You gotta, you, you gotta provide some kind of work, because they're jerks. Rather than, hey, you've got an actual problem. We might want to help you. No, 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 that's too easy. Nobody wants you to do that. We want you to get off your ass at work. Yeah, well, the government can kiss my ass. So anyway, trying back to the happy. Back to the happy. Let's get back to the happy. Happy good. Rambly. Rambly angry. Doesn't make people want to stick around. Ah, looks like I got another cut off. So this is a border. This is another border. Like literally a border spawner. Squared up to the spawner. It actually generates the mods. And on the surface. Let's see how much more I gotta do. There you go, fill, 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 save, deselect, woohoo. Alright, now I'm gonna take a break now. I've conquered quite a few. 
All right, thank you for watching. This has been an episode of Angel Wolf's Journey. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And if you want to help me build and design things for my Minecraft world, uh, you can subscribe to my Patreon. I'm only accepting ideas from my Patreons only. It's $5 a month. You get a producer credit. You get to help me design and build things. And you get to see the videos one day early. So if you feel inclined, great. If you don't, that's cool too. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.